Well, I mean, I don't know, I always liked math when I was in school, so since I was a small kid, so, and then it continues my liking of math. Even though at the university I didn't do mathematics, actually, I was a physicist, so my background is an experimental physicist. <laughs> and then uh, after, after university, I decided to start to go back to mathematics, so I do a PhD in mathematics. And uh, the reason is, uh, I don't know, I did physics, but I didn't feel I was in the right place. So I like a little bit more pure abstract stuff. And so I moved to mathematics and uh, I still, I, I, I keep the taste for application. I'm not uh, a pure mathematician by any means. So I like to always see problems, study problems that originates from physics or motivate, I mean, their physical application. So this is my attraction to mathematics to justify problems that are that we can see on everyday life. Mm -hmm. Oh, it depends on which level. At the at school, yes, I have a teacher that uh, he was giving me extra classes uh, of maths uh, in high school, so we were meeting once a week, and he was very keen to push me to do maths. So this for sure gave me was a very positive effect. No, it was gradually, it was not clear. So I, it was not clear when I did the PhD that I would, uh, I would uh, continue to be a mathematician. And indeed, actually, I, my first job that I accept was a postdoc in finance, actually. And then I changed my mind very quickly. <laughs> and so I keep doing, I went back to doing math uh, in my field of research that is integrable system, yeah. So at that, that point, I decide I want to, to continue my career, yeah, as a mathematician. So I work in, uh, in the area of uh, integrable system, which is an area that uh, has been growing since the last 30, 40 years. And it, uh, it aims to describe, I mean, so linear phenomena are in general very well understood. So nonlinear phenomena have a much, much more rich uh, structure by all means, uh, and describe in a much more uh, complete way nature. And among nonlinear phenomena, there are some incredibly equations that are integrable, that means they are exactly, exactly solvable. And the, the discovery for the integrability became in the 60s, 70s. So with the, the discovery that, uh, I mean, it was already known. I mean, the two body problem in physics is solvable and integrability was thought to be a very rare phenomena. But in the 60s, 70s, it was discovered that uh, partial differential equations that are infinite dimensional dynamical system are, are integrable. And so this gives open a new, a new complete field of research that keeps going since, uh, since for 50 years, I mean. And I'm working in this field and now it reaches many branches of mathematics. It, so it touched geometry, it touched PD, it touched probability. Mm -hmm. And so I'm working on the intersection of these, uh, these fields. <laughs> yes, I, I could have chosen, well, once you choose one, you, you, you don't know what you, have con you could have chosen, actually. But uh, possibly, yes. I mean, so, there, so if uh, career, can, can be tuned very quickly and change direction very quickly. It depends on encounters, on the people you encounter, occasion you had. So, but uh, I wanted to, to do math and to be in academia. So that's why I'm here. Uh -huh. Well, it's, uh, I don't think it's only one person. There are several persons. So in the as in high school level was this math teacher that uh, influenced me a lot, uh, being very supportive. At the university, I don't have strong memory of uh, 
actually don't have very strong memory, but for sure my master advisor influenced me a lot, and then there was PhD advisor that, of course, it puts an important uh, starting point into your career. So the way he looks at mathematics, he thinks that mathematics was very important for me. And the optimism, the optimism, because research is, uh, is mostly downs and there are some ups when you find something and this optimism was very important for me. My PhD advisor is a great was a great mathematician because he died and then he was a postdoc of his former advisor which is Sergei Petrovich Novikov which is a field medalist and so I was uh, I, I had the honor to be close to very extraordinary people so I still I didn't realize I didn't realize when I was young that were extremely good. But uh, now that <laughs> I've seen a lot of mathematicians, I appreciate how, how deep they, are, they, they have been and how patronizing they were having. So they, they help, uh, they form me a lot, both of them. Mm -hmm. For, for myself, uh, yes, my first paper was... Uh, <laughs> the first. Of course, every time you have a nice result, you're happy. But the first paper that I, I published, yes, I, I was for me the first, uh, the first moment to say, okay, I've done my first paper. That's... Well, now I mostly work in teams uh, because uh, it's more efficient. Uh, so I like to divide the work. There are students, postdocs uh, and collaborators and it's, uh, it's, uh, it's more efficient. And, uh, but uh, if I have to do, to think, I think alone mostly. But I like to, so every couple of days I like to work together with uh, or students or postdocs or, collabor or talk to collaborators, yes. Well, I mean, I like, uh, I like this place a lot, so I came a couple, I like CERM a lot, I came a few times to CERM before, and then I was planning to do a sabbatical, to take a sabbatical year, and I came here and Sasha Buffetto asking, oh, why you don't apply to the chair more they come here, and it was a perfect match for me, so I decided to apply, and uh, that's why I came here, mm -hmm. and it was very, it was very enjoyable semester. Well, the main theme of this semester is, is uh, integrability and randomness in mathematical physics. And uh, so I come from the integrable system world. Sasha Buffetto comes from dynamical system, also random metrics. And we put together a semester that try to, to join these two fields. Uh, they are already joined because, I mean, from, from the point of view of probability, random matrices, I mean, we, we know that uh, so the central, li li linear, the central limit here describes basically linear phenomena, but in the last 30 years a lot of uh, probabilistic, uh, non probabilistic questions are arising on linear system, and uh, the one that you are able to solve are the integrable ones. And so the idea was to put together and push uh, this integrable aspect in probability and uh, random matrix, but even in mathematical physics in general. <laughs> Well, I like, uh, for this semester, I like all the activities, actually. I mean, two, one activity is still to be developed, so next week is going to take place. The school was very, very nice and successful, so we managed to have a very good speaker. So there was Stal Bazor, John Keating, then uh, Brian Ryder and Alexander Itz, and they all give very good lecture, and the students uh, appreciate very much. So uh, I think... Uh, the idea to, so we, we, we prepare for the students like two minutes talk uh, with a poster session and they enjoy it a lot. So it was a very good opportunity for all of them to talk and present their work. And the conference, yes, the conference also has a very good speaker. So among which I would say, I mean, there are senior speakers like Pierre Van, Pierre Van Merbeck and Craig Tracy. But there are many young speakers, so I invite a lot of young speakers and many women. So, and uh, I was very impressed by the level of the talks as well. Mm -hmm. 
Well, first I said for myself because it was very good for me. I mean, so I broadened very much. Uh, so I came into, I had the chance to speak to many different people and uh, to know different fields of mathematics. And uh, regarding the University of Marseille, well, uh, well I, I gave a, a series of lectures at the university. So I had the chance to speak with the group uh, in, um, hyperbolic dynamics uh, and to give uh, some series of talks uh, and the students came to the school to the workshop some of the students the student of Sasha Buffetto and Posto came here so it was uh, was a good exchange of ideas of course there is uh, a physical as you said one hour trip uh, gives some uh, put some obstacle to really interaction strong interaction but uh, I mean, so we, I did. Uh, so I, I went several times to the university, and people came here. So I think it was a good uh, inter intertwining of ideas. Mm -hmm. Well, my plans. Uh, I'm going back <laughs> to Trieste for spending. So we'll be busy. So the plans will be on going back and uh, spending. Uh, few months in Trieste, after that I will move back to Bristol, so, and life will go back, uh, so with the usual uh, pace, so teaching, student, uh, and um, so I don't have plans uh, to, to, to travel much, uh, to, to spend semester somewhere else in the near future. And I will long for this, I will, uh, I will, uh, I will have a very nice memory of this time here. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, that's, uh, we are planning to put uh, the lecture of the school in a book, into a book, and uh, to publish, uh, to publish uh, the, 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 basically the content of the school as a, as a book for the, yes, for the Société de France, Mathematical French Society. Well, I mean, it's very positive. It was, uh, at the beginning, I mean, I was a little bit scared of running a semester by, by myself, only with Sasha, because usually there are other, the concept of having semester activity, there are many places in the world like uh, MSRI, Newton, but uh, it's, a, it's an activity centered to many people, not to one pe person, so I was a little bit scared. But I think it's a very nice act activity, because, I mean, so if you have a lot of people, it require more or more resource and organization, while well, one person can manage uh, and invite. Uh, so you have the researching pairs, which is uh, was very, very good. So two researching pairs, uh, and I have the chance to speak to people that uh, are not directly related to my field. For me, it was, uh, and I think for all the chairs, is an opportunity to, to broaden the field of research, to have the chance to talk to many other people. So, and to bring to, even to CERN, probably people, so the fact that it has to be an international person, not a French person, the result is I, you bring to CERN a lot of international people. So uh, probably have many US participants. So it's a good uh, opportunity also for CERN to have a person that is in charge for six months and bring a mathematician from all over the world. Mm -hmm. And the place is absolutely fantastic. <laughs> I really, I really, I, I will really miss it. I mean, I was living for months in the house, the chair, and I, I love it. I mean, it's absolute paradise. So I like to wake up on Saturday and Sunday when nobody was around and just go to the Kalank. And that was a fantastic life, I guess. But even downtown Marseille is very nice, actually. It's the only, the only issue is commuting, but Mm -hmm. But they are, they are a wonderful place to live. You are very lucky, all of you, <laughs> that you can live here and work here. You are lucky people. <laughs>